tree. Oh, Dallas, how are you? Hey, hi, Camila. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Okay? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, Teaching, good. learning, meditating, the same. Oh, old. yeah, sounds good. It's great to see you again. It is. It's always great to see you. Yeah. So today we are here to talk about a very interesting topic, complaining. Oh, and I okay. Have, <laughs> and I have some questions for you. Okay. And this is good. This is one of um, uh, the British people's favorite uh, pastimes. One of our favorite things to do, apparently. <laughs> it's their hobby <laughs> to complain. Yep. Complaining. Yeah. yeah. So the first question for you would be, it is always necessary to complain. Is it always necessary? Is it always complain? necessary to complain? Do you think complaining solves everything or anything solves anything or gives us a sense of, I don't know, we Brazilians, we do complain too. And sometimes I feel like it's just for complaining sake. It has no purpose whatsoever. It's just, <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> that's time. Yeah, um, I th the answer is no. I don't think complaining is always useful, no. And the British love to complain. We love complaining about all kinds of things, especially the weather, but we, that's not really complaining. We just complain about the weather, either it's too wet or it's too hot or it's too dry. Yeah, so this is normal for British people. But um, I think we complain quite a lot about some things but then maybe we don't complain enough about mm. other things when people when something's wrong some people just put up with it you know they they just keep going and they don't say anything when maybe they should complain um but then some people complain about everything um and, and I think, yes, sometimes you need to complain, of course, if you get something with it from a shop and it doesn't yeah. work or it's wrong or you get bad service, you know, yeah. really bad service. Somewhere. In a restaurant, for example. In a restaurant, yeah, or in, 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 in a shop or something. Yeah, maybe you should complain. If it's really bad, if it's just that the waiter, you know, was a little bit offhand, perhaps he was having a bad day, um, or if the shop assistant um, was, you know, maybe not taking too much interest, that's, that's okay. Mm -hmm. But if somebody's rude to you, or if the service is bad, then yeah, you know, mm -hmm. if it's really bad, then you should complain because you're yeah. paying the money. Of course. Yeah. 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 But then I think that mm, there is a danger of people complaining and not doing anything. And sometimes mm -hmm. instead of complaining, sometimes you need to actually take action and do something about some something. Yeah. I don't know. What yes. do you what do you think? No, yeah, I think um I find it difficult. I would like to to see your thoughts on, on how do you personally behave in situations like a bad service in a restaurant, for example. So, so for example, in Brazil, normally we give tips, it's 10% of the bill. And, and sometimes I feel like that service was not very good. So I feel like, should I pay? Should I tip in this situation? But it, it sort of comes with the bill. And in order not to pay, you would have to face the waitress who comes to pass the card. And then you would have to actually tell to that person, you know, I'm not tipping because I don't think your service was worth That's it. So, so yeah. have you ever had that situation where you were in a restaurant or getting a bad service and you actually stood up and said, it's difficult, call the manager or something like that. We have this, the customer is always right. I have never, I, I don't recall at least me in a situation where I was receiving a bad service that I actually complained. Have you ever complained? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, I have. Yeah, but I think um, we have a different system in the mm -hmm. UK. The, the tip is on top of the bill. Oh, so okay. you get the bill and then normally you can decide whether to give a tip 
or not. And yes, it's about, usually it's about 10%, but you get what the bill is for your food and, and the tax, so it's tax on it. And then you decide whether to give a tip. So if you think the service is good, you give a tip. If you think the service is bad, you just, you don't give a tip, but you're paying for your meal. Um, yeah, we didn't used to tip in this country at all, but we do now. Yeah. Having said that, um, some restaurants now are starting to put it in the bill. Um, but you can say it, it says it's discretionary, discretionary tip, 10% or 12 and half percent. And you can take it off if it's on the machine, you can take it off. But you have um, actually so, say it. You have to say it to the person. I'm not going. Yeah, to... but this is not the normal system. The oh. normal system is you put the tip on. So okay. this is much easier for customers. It is because it they is. can just not say anything and just don't give a tip. Yeah. Oh. But I prefer, well, pre-COVID anyway. If I'm giving a tip, I prefer to do it cash, mm. just actual money. So that the wait, I know the waiter is or the waitress yeah. is going to get it because yeah. otherwise, maybe if you do it with the machine on your card, maybe it goes into the company. Yeah. So I always wondered that too. Yeah. 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 But mm -hmm. maybe it's the system, you know, if mm -hmm. you think about it, I know in America, everybody gets tipped as well. But if you paid yeah. people enough money, a decent wage they wouldn't need to get tips and you could just do it as, a, as an extra if, if it was really good service you could give them an extra bit that's how it started but now in many countries it's just part of the bill it's just, so this really difficult for you it is it is it is actually i guess in this country i like how you english said in this country You, the British people said in this country. So instead of saying <laughs> Brazil or in English, uh, in this country, actually, I guess half of the salary comes from the tips. So if you don't give, oh. yes, if you don't tip, they wow. might not get the salary that they need. And they, and they need the salary. They need to feed themselves yeah. and to feed their family. So, oh my God, that's really, that's a really difficult situation. Difficult for the waiter or waitress as, as well. Yeah. 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 So, mm. yeah. No, I, I think that maybe you need to overhaul the system, Camila. <laughs> It's, true. It's true, but on that regard, I think <laughs> on the other thing also you were mentioning, how we sometimes complain, but we don't actually do anything. I I might be in that category of people like, so for example, I tend to complain a lot about, I, I'm not sure if I should mention it after being blocked by you know who, I'm not sure if I should mention in a video, but I, I don't support this government, but mm -hmm. I, I don't support it in my house on social media, but I don't actually go and protest. Well, now it's because of COVID. I don't think it's yeah, absolutely very, like safe to go. Although people no. were keeping distance and wearing that 995 mask, it's that the mm -hmm. name of the mask that really is, there is a, a a brand or a type of mm -hmm. masks that are yeah really really safe. But yeah, so I consider I consider myself one of those people who sense the front of their TV and like that needs to change. But instead of taking action and actually going and doing something to change that system that you criticize so badly, I just let others do it. I stay here and, and I feel guilty sometimes. So it's just complaining for the sake of complaining, not actually taking action, you know, and I feel bad. Yeah, but we all do that, Camila. I yeah. mean, sometimes I, I do take action sometimes, yeah. but I, I don't protest as much as other people. I have friends who do really? go on protests or even start protests, yeah. Um, mm. And I have done in the past, but um, not so much now. But, but I do other things maybe, mm -hmm. not about everything. Sometimes I feel really bad because I haven't done something like... 
Yeah. Uh, today, we uh, no, yesterday, our government um, in the UK voted um, in Parliament to um, cut the international aid budgets from 0.7% to 0.5%. And I really, really don't think that is a good idea. I think it's terrible. Yeah. And lots of people think it's terrible, but I didn't, I forgot to write to my MP about it. Yeah, it wouldn't have made any difference, but who knows, he may have voted against it oh. if I'd written. But I've written to him about quite a few other things. So I do write to my MP, M MP, Member of really? Parliament. Yeah. So, yeah, I do sometimes because but who I think well, is, is it one person that you write to? Yeah, yeah. So we the have person a you vote for. Yeah, the person, yeah, though, well, I didn't actually vote for him, but the person who represents our okay. our area, our constituency, mm -hmm. he is my member of parliament and I didn't vote for him, but he was elected yeah. so I can write to him about things. And I, yeah. I write to other people's MPs um, about things wow. that in their area I have done, and not all the time, but yeah, if I feel very strongly now, I, I do write to my MP and sometimes I've written to companies to complain about things or taken them back. It's not easy. It's not an easy thing to do. Um, yeah, I think as you get older, it gets easier. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't care as much about yeah. what people think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I... How could I, if I wanted to tell you something, but it's not connected to that topic, would mm -hmm. I, would I say like on a side note, like I wanted to tell you something? Um, that an expression you could just say changing the subject for a moment or yeah. as a side issue. Yeah. Okay. Changing the subject for a moment. I, I have a, a very special student from England. She works on a castle. In, in London, what is the name okay. of the castle? I, I, I don't recall, but she told me something really interesting today that I didn't know. She told me that the queen writes a letter for people who, when, when they complete a hundred years, did you know mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, everybody, like, yeah. everybody gets one. It is yeah. a personal letter or? <laughs> uh, it's, it's a card, I think. Mm. I think it's a card. Oh, wow, that's. Uh, so cool. Mm, it's cool, but she also does it for people who are, are married for 60 years. Wow. So when they get to what we call their diamond jubilee, 60 years of marriage, because it's unusual, they get a, a card from the Queen as well. Ooh. So m my ex-parents-in-law, because I'm divorced, they were married for nearly... I think it's nearly 70 years. So they got a card from the queen when they've been married 60 years. And then my ex-father-in-law reached a hundred a month before he died and he got a card from the queen. Yeah, wow. it's cool, isn't it? I think it's cool. So cool. When she told me, <laughs> actually her grandma passed away. So she, her grandma would be a hundred years this weekend, this last weekend. Aww. And then she was sad and then she was like, oh wow, she almost got a letter from the queen. Aww. And then I was like, what do you mean a letter from the queen? <laughs> and she explained <laughs> me, I was like, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's just normal for us, I think, yeah. But what is going to happen? Like, I, we all wondered before the Duke of Edinburgh, her husband died because he was nearly a hundred. Is she going to write him a letter? When he gets to 100 and what happens when she gets to 100 she'll have to write a letter to herself yeah yeah she should because, she should yeah 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 anyway in, in Brazil, we love the queen we love the queen we have really? like, okay. yeah yeah i like the queen not we, everybody does but i do yeah and well although we have some memes about the queen um we, we how, how to say memes memes like memes. yeah memes okay memes. yeah 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 that's not i mean it, it could be maybe it could it could be offensive for an english i'll tell you because you're cool but wow. yeah we, we like to say that she's eternal that she has lived throughout time and she's <laughs> and she she, she she was sad because her turtle died her turtle <laughs> <laughs> there are memes like that oh the queen said because she lost her turtle yeah brazilians <laughs> yeah. like that funny for some reason 
yeah that's fine we yeah. people say lots of things about the queen some of them yeah. very insulting so it's yeah. fine she's used to it yeah yeah, yeah but yeah I, I like the queen i do like the queen i find that gesture of writing people a letter it, it clearly meant something for my student like oh she almost got a letter for the queen like it meant something mm -hmm. for her grammar mm -hmm. too that's a very nice gesture like i think yeah. so the marriage yeah. thing also so cool yeah the marriage is good isn't it i like to take it. the time to do that yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 i like that so getting back yeah. to the um, getting back to the complaints yeah <laughs> to the complaints yeah <laughs> um so i yeah about not doing enough i think you're doing enough like writing a letter is to to the representative person the, the person who represents member your of area parliament. member yeah. of parliament i think most people in this country they would just forget the people they voted for and i feel like there is like a sense like when your candidate is not elected you feel like you're not a part of that administration somehow and okay. but actually yeah. the, the president for example the governor 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 yeah Governor. governor, I don't know how it works, but yeah, probably yeah. governor. If he was elected, he is representing all that state, all that Absolutely. area. It's not yeah. for just the people who voted for him, but I no. feel like in this country, it feels like this. If you voted, if you support the government, you feel like you have the right to to make demands and such. But if you 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 just wait for your government to be elected and then you can take a part on that administration but what you do that okay. what you do actually is good he representing you all after all it's not yeah. just the people who voted for him no he's elected but he represents everybody in his yeah. what we call yeah. or her constituency mm -hmm. so yeah sometimes they because they are not the person that many people you know obviously some, some people haven't voted for they get lots of letters from all kinds of people yeah sometimes they can't do anything but sometimes they do yeah. they do help sometimes yeah. if, they, if they can sometimes if it goes against their party's policy they won't mm -hmm. yeah and I've asked our MP to do that sometimes they listen sometimes they will think about it but if it really goes against their party's policy very often they won't do it yeah. but you can still ask and what happens is if many people complain about one thing, then they start to listen. Even if mm -hmm. these are people who listen, because they're thinking, okay, this is obviously something people feel strongly about. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. So yeah. Yeah. On the note of complaining, I would like to ask you something. So okay, so when it's when it comes to complain in a restaurant or politician but okay but when it comes to complaining about something that someone you like a friend for example does that annoys you do you usually do you tell people do you let your friends know like um i'll give you an example i don't know if i told you that story before but i have a friend who will bark bark is like ah! Oh, like after burp. the burp, burp. burp. Mm -hmm. There is another the word for it, which is not burp. not very nice. Burp. Yeah. Burp. Okay. <laughs> so she burps because in her house, her parents does it. So for her, it's normal actually. So after a meal yeah. in a restaurant, anywhere, she will burp, and, or, <laughs> and intentionally like a a less longing like one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm like inviting her to meet other friends of mine because I always felt like I, I never actually yeah. had a conversation like actually I, I did ask her once like oh so you, you burp I mentioned that <laughs> it's natural it's something that a human body does we yeah but we do. we do but there are times that we control it don't we there are yeah. times and places but yeah. imagine someone that was raised by that and not only burping but also the other thing that you can think of everything no, said. and i actually never asked her not to because it felt mm -hmm. like how i mean how do you mention like how do you bring that up like some something that someone does and so naturally like would you 
ask her, would you not to? And the question mm -hmm. is, why does that bother me? And then I start, that brought a lot of reflections, like, yeah. Hey, I don't like that. I won't just, I just won't do. There are a lot of things that people actually do in the world that I don't like and I don't do. Why should I ask people to not do the thing? You know, I would have to go to everyone and say, don't do that. Don't do that. You know? So I never brought that up and made me think like years. It's been years. It's been like literally like a decade that I've been thinking about her burping. <laughs> Therapy with my psychologist. I have like, discussed that. I hope she doesn't watch this video. Um, yeah, yeah, but obviously, yeah, I, I would. I may not have done at your age, but I'm quite old, so maybe I can do that now. Um, maybe I would a few years ago. The thing is, Camilla, it bothers you. If it's bothering you, it's obviously bothering you quite a lot. And yeah, it's a normal thing to do. They're both, both ends, normal things to do, but we can control it to some extent. We can't always control it, yeah? But it's not, in our society, it's not a polite thing to do. So this neither, is what the problem neither is. Neither here, yeah. neither no, is here. No, in, in, in many societies it isn't. But in some societies it is, yeah? It's, yeah. it's actually polite in some societies to burp because otherwise people think you haven't enjoyed your meal. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. But in your society, it's obviously not polite. And in our society in the UK, it's not polite. So yeah, you can say something because if it's making you uncomfortable, so you don't want to go out for a meal with her and you don't want to go out with your friends, this is affecting you. And actually it's affecting your friendship. So yeah, but what I would say, which, is a, is a technique you can use when you want to say something, complain to your other half, your dearly beloved person or anyone is you say, I feel. Mm. Yeah. I, f can I just tell you, I feel a bit uncomfortable when you do that in public because mm, it's not really that acceptable here. Something like that, you know, or you could ask it like, you know why most people don't do that how do you is do you feel okay with it um i actually feel you know have you noticed i don't do that and actually most people don't do it how do you feel and it actually makes me feel uncomfortable so you can use i feel rather than yeah. saying you shouldn't you, do that yeah yeah, yeah. so you yeah. use it you're saying i i feel yeah. not you're wrong yeah and yeah. you can use that in lots of situations can't you interesting interesting so actually you have you have told friends of yours about behaviors that you didn't quite enjoy is it is it something that comes easy um, for you no <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe, I, maybe. <laughs> maybe I, i'm trying to think maybe i was more direct than that you can really probably, you could i don't know i probably have i can't think yeah i you know the, yeah there is a friend uh, maybe one or two in the past that i've had to say i i don't feel comfortable about that yeah i'm just trying to think but i have been more direct and say said please can you not do that but not often because i'm a coward yeah. because i no, me too. Really don't me confront too. things that i should do <laughs> well it's because i mean i can be confrontative sometimes confrontational thank you sorry confrontational <laughs> confrontational i can be confront confront confrontational but there are things that are difficult to say to people yeah there are there are things and yeah yeah, and you have to weigh up whether it's worth it or not. So sometimes I haven't because um, maybe this friendship is worth it. I have been actually thinking about it very direct with one particular friend. And because of the way she is, it's caused problems. And I, I think that's not worth it. Yeah, because you don't want to lose friends, do you? But then that shouldn't happen either. You should be able to say <laughs> what, what you want to say yeah in a friendship it's yeah. true it's true but using i feel it feels more loving and kind a and bit kinder maybe kinder yeah it feels it feels so 
but yeah, I feel like it's easier to complain to someone you don't know, like in a restaurant. I mean, I don't do it either, but no. you could do it easily than yeah. like talking to, to a friend or... Yeah, much yeah. easier when you someone you don't know. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, it is interesting, it's, this topic. It, it is in, it's an interesting topic and actually maybe it gets a little bit easier as you get older, but it's still difficult. You know, you have to make these decisions, don't you, about whether to say something or not say something. Yeah. And that is always difficult. No, yeah. 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 No, it is. It is. I guess you're right. As 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 we get older, there are things we are not we 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 don't tolerate anymore. I yeah. last thing I know we are almost running out of time, but one thing that's been bothering me lately, we have a doorman in a in, in this building. <coughs> and yeah. this doorman, whenever I'm not like I'm not like how can I say this? My body is not a pattern, like I'm not like the my body isn't perfect. How can I say this? I'm not like you wouldn't look at me and say, Oh, sexy, like the beauty queen has just entered this building but mm -hmm. he would check me out as i enter or i live this guy he's i don't know he's married i think i don't know but he will look me from feet to up and down up yeah. and down and he does that intentionally he wants me to know that he's looking and then i i've been there are so many i mean there are so many times that i want to say don't do that that's offensive don't don't look me like this I'm not a piece mm -hmm. of meat or something. And I'm getting to the point where I'm about to say something, but I know that if I do, I still need to see me. He works, he works there in the door. And I wonder, mm -hmm. does he does this to any woman? Or does he do that does he does that with me because I live with no man? I am single. And then is that know. acceptable? But maybe married, married woman, woman. And then I'm like in maybe 10 years ago that wouldn't be pissing me off that much but now like yeah so i guess as we we, we became become less acceptive maybe yeah we, we become less tolerant of tolerant. things yeah. yeah yeah i don't know what you can say is maybe you can just say you know maybe you don't know you're doing this but actually you're looking you're looking me up and down and i find it uncomfortable and I would rather you didn't do that. He may not even know he's doing it. I think some yeah. guys don't, but maybe he is doing it on purpose. And yeah. you could just say, you know, you're making me uncomfortable doing that. And he might say, what, what am I doing? And you say, you're actually looking me up and down. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, as if like I'm a piece of meat or something and I'm not. Yeah. I mean, you can say it in a, a nice way, but firmly yeah. that he knows you yeah. you're serious yeah yeah that yeah. is uncomfortable yeah and i think it's less acceptable now at one time guys did that all the time and they would cat call you and they would whistle and uh, at you and stuff um yeah. i know this is not very politically correct but i didn't used to mind guys whistling at me but i shouldn't say that <laughs> when i was no, okay. when i was younger I mean, no i i i mean <laughs> but, there is a limit. There is a line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I was just yeah. going to say before we finish that there, there was a, there was a couple of months ago where I was like, oh, so I'm, I'm walking down the street, and actually there is a construction building there, and no one mm -hmm. said anything, and, and then, yeah. and then I thought, wow, but that should be a good thing, right, Camila? And I was like, <laughs> what is? I mean, but part of my mind was like, but why, why didn't they say something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is I know, there and you something yeah. wrong. Yeah, you think there's something wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then so like, oh, I was like, actually good that they're not. <laughs> you know, it's like, it is. So your mind is split into two. I know. I do exactly the same thing. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't happen to me anyway now. But uh, I, I, there is that. I think some women are pro probably a bit disappointed if, like, young women, if the guys don't whistle in a, a construction site. Yeah. I remember before we go. I remember. Uh, after I had my first baby, I was very depressed and uh, postnatal depression. And I was walking along the street and I wanted, I wanted to cry. I was pushing the pram and this guy went past in the van and we, we call it wolf whistling. And he whistled and it made me feel so much better. I shouldn't say that. 
<laughs> because I thought, okay, I'm still this, I'm still noticeable. People still notice oh, me. Oh, cool. Oh, no, no, anyway. but but it's okay. No, it, it happens. <laughs> yeah. But that. Uh, thank you. Okay. No, so thank you. Talk to you. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's lovely to talk to you, Camila. Really, I, I really yeah. enjoy our conversations. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to apologize for me telling about the queen. I hope you didn't no, take it as an offensive. No, to, no. I was not criticizing her when I said no, no, about no, the memes. No, no, listen, you should see what people here write about the queen. Some oh, okay, of them. Okay, okay. Mean, many people love her. Not everybody does. It's fine. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I like the queen. I like her too. Yeah. I didn't mean to sound offensive. So <laughs> No, no, in. not at all. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay see you next time. Talk to, see you next time. Okay. Ciao, ciao. ciao.